An old Honda Accord with a common Accord problem. Probably happened to every one of them. There's two ways these cars die. First is the ignition switch. Not the part you put your key in. The other part, the electrical part that attaches to the other end. The contacts burn out. And one day your Honda won't start or one day you have to just turn it the right way to start it. Well, that's pretty straightforward. You just change the locks, lock switch part, the electrical part. The other reason why they just randomly die, sometimes all at once and never start again, and of course sometimes every time the motor warms up, if you want to get them running after they die, you put some snow on the distributor or cold water. There's a thing inside there called a chip or an igniter. You got to buy it from a dealer and it costs almost 150 bucks. Or you can buy a used one from the auto wreckers and wait for it to die. So this little transistorized device inside that distributor makes a signal for the coil to fire and sends a little bit of information to the computer for the injectors and it goes bad. So you have to remove the distributor, take it apart, install this part. It's not very hard. So there's three bolts. Just scratch a line so you can get your timing right when you're putting it back on. So it took about three minutes to get those bolts off. And just twist and tw turn and wiggle. It comes off and now we unplug the wires. And then remove the distributor cap. And after unplugging the wires, it's off and we're into this job now about seven minutes. Now we've got to carefully pry off that rotor so we don't break it. Maybe we can get a screwdriver under there a little bit and something under that side and pry up at both times at the same time. Ah, what luck, it came off totally easy. Now take off the cover and there's your chip. That goes there. Oh, there's one other thing I forgot to mention while your Hondas ran randomly commit suicide. It's called the main relay. It has a lot to do with making the fuel pump work. That's a relay that's sort of jammed up under the dash near the steering column. It's about that long, an inch wide. It's in a silvery box. That can be the other reason. This reason is only, of course, if you've got no spark. And now that all the wires are unplugged, I just slip the chip right out. Now I have to remove those screws and get some heat sink compound. It's that greasy stuff you put on the back of chips so it transfers heat to that plate. It's off and you can see a bit of remains of that sticky stuff. I'll go get some fresh. Out with the old, in with the new. Smear your stuff around, nice and even. And it's back on its heat sink. Now just slip it back in. Screw it on and plug your wires back in, ready to put it all back together. Well, that was no effort. Now just put the cap on. Put everything back on the motor. When putting the distributor back in the hole, you can't really go wrong. This little notch that lines everything up and drives it is off-center. So you just rotate it to match the position where it is in the cam hole, and it'll go back together right. You don't have to worry about it not starting or the wrong firing order or anything like that. It's back together. Let's see if it's going to start. <whistles> Automatic. That sucks. Anyways. Sweet. Job well done and time for a beer. That wasn't even a one beer job. Gotta love it. Runs like new, and it's a 92. And has 185,000 kilometers. Good enough for me. The only thing I had to look at was just make sure that scratch I made for the timing was lined up and we're back in business.